holsters, holsters, holsters. <laughs> if you're a concealed carry person, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You spend five, six hundred dollars for a gun, and then you end up spending five or six hundred dollars in holsters that you'll never use. <laughs> uh, I'm here doing another holster review, and hopefully this is my last one for my LCR uh, revolver, which uh, a lot of you are probably aware that's my my favorite uh, carry weapon of choice. And I did a review a couple months ago about my MIC holster, which is great. I, I, I still highly recommend that holster. It's a great uh, minimal carry. Uh, however, there's two downfalls with the MIC. One is in the summer, which I've realized now, I'm getting a lot of perspiration on that firearm. And two, you have to wear a belt in order to tie off the string. Now you could tie it to your belt loop, but I, I don't think that's very secure. So this is, uh, I've now worn this for about four weeks and I have zero issues. I have found zero downfalls with this holster. I, I, I have most of my reviews, I give all the positives and the negatives. I don't have a negative for this holster. I, I honestly do not. And I, I have found myself wearing this thing more carrying my gun more than I did with any other holster, uh, including the Mick. And that is the Remora. These are made right here in the United States. Before I purchased this, I called their phone number. And after two rings, an English speaking lady answered the phone and answered all my questions. She was very knowledgeable of the product. And my question to her was, you know, I want something something very low profile. So I wasn't sure if I wanted the original, which is this, and the model number of the original for the LCR is 8RCH. Now, they make these for probably every gun out there. Uh, and my question was, do I want this, the original, or do I want the one where they put in the top here, they put Kydex in it. So... The top is reinforced, which makes it easier to reholster. So it kind of stays in an open position. And uh, once again, she was very knowledgeable of the product. And uh, she helped me gu help guide me in the right direction. I ended up going with the original because I wanted this as low profile as possible. So uh, this is how it works. I'm an appendix carry person. And there you go. Very simple. Very, very simple. If you're an appendix carry person, I highly recommend this. And I'm not sure if all the holsters are made this way, but at least on this, on my gun, the LCR, has this little extra paddle or bill, if you will. And what I found is this is very important for uh, appendix carry people. Because there's a lot of appendix holsters out there that it's this part. It's just this triangle thing and it's pointed, really pointed. This has a point, but it's soft. It's really, really soft. Uh, and it's just not comfortable. It digs into your stomach. This works really well because you have a natural line on your stomach down to your groin area. And after just a couple times of, of using this, I can now put this holster where that crease is perfectly on the crease in my stomach to my groin. And what that does is when I sit down, the, the holster, the main part of the holster is here, and then that little bill part is flat right here. So it, it's very comfortable, nothing digging into my leg. and. Uh, for those of you that are appendix carry people, I, I'm telling you, you will love this holster. Now, the other advantage to this holster uh, is obviously it's completely covered, so it keeps the sweat off of it. In fact, when you're sweating, this actually grips a little better when there's a little bit of moisture on it. But if you relieve the pressure, you can take this holster in and out relatively easy, which I like because I don't. there's a lot of places you can't carry a firearm. 
So if I have like a crossbreed on or something that, that is what I call semi-permanently attached to your belt, you leave the holster on, you take out the unprotected loaded weapon, and you put it in your glove compartment. Well, I've actually scratched my weapons before by something else that was in there, and it was because the gun was not in something to protect it. Now, the other nice thing is when I get back into my vehicle, I don't have to look around and keep the door halfway open to holster my weapon. I can be in a seated position, again, relieve that little bit of pressure on my belt, and put it right back in there. It's out of the way of the seat belt, very, very comfortable. Uh, as far as uh, the holster staying in place, I've done yard work in this. I have been running around. I've played baseball in it. Uh, you're, you're only limited with this holster by having something on that has a waistband, including jogging shorts. I've worn this with jogging shorts and my pajamas. So uh, it's, it's very, very grippy. It's not going to move. As you can see, I'm you know, jumping around. It, do, it doesn't move. The gun doesn't move. The holster doesn't move. Even if you're someone who likes to carry it a little higher, you can see that's not going to go anywhere. So excellent holster. Hopefully this is my last video on holsters for my LCR. And I, I truly believe it is because with the other holsters that I've purchased, I've always had a negative included in, in the video review. This, I, I, don't, I do not have a negative. There's so many positives. It's comfortable. It's low profile. It's made in the United States. You can call the company. They actually answer the phone and very helpful. This was uh, $23 with shipping and I received it in, uh, on the fifth day from the day that I actually ordered it. So this is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper, camping out.